it was summer and it was hot. So I don't know why I was wearing a jumper, but I definitely told you that this was gonna happen. Guys, I have been told by a very reliable source that this LC6000 is going to be compatible with the Prime 4 in standalone mode. So it's only a matter of time. Now it's December and it's cold and it's finally happened. The Denon DJ LC6000 Prime is now compatible in standalone mode with the Denon DJ Prime 4. Let's take a look at it. Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Rat Cave. Ratsy here for DJ Kit and a fantastic day today for Denon DJ Prime 4 users as Engine DJ 2.1 has just been released and included in the update is making the Prime 4 compatible with the Denon DJ LC6000 Prime controller. So for those of you who don't know what this LC6000 is, check the video in the comments of this one where I do a full run through and also link to the video where I showed you how to use this LC6000 with the Prime 4, but not in standalone mode. So in a nutshell, the LC6000 is a layer controller to use the extra decks on the SC5000s, SC6000s, and any controller that uses Serato DJ Pro. So it was a really, really big thing for Prime 4 users as the Prime 4 is a four deck standalone controller uh, as to why this LC6000 didn't work with it on release. I don't know why it didn't happen on release, but it's happened today and it is brilliant news. So to make the full use of this LC6000 with your Prime 4 in standalone mode, download Engine DJ 2.1. Um, I actually had to download it on the Engine DJ website and put it on a USB into the controller. Uh, but normally, because of the built-in Wi-Fi on these Prime units, you can search for an update on the unit itself and actually update the firmware using the Wi-Fi on the controller. So I'm sure that that option will be available very soon. But literally, once you're running Engine DJ 2.1 on the Prime 4, all you have to do is plug in this LC6000 via the USB out of the back into either the USB 3 or USB 4 on the back of the Prime 4 controller. Um, if you're in USB 4, you're controlling the fourth deck on the Prime into USB 3, you're controlling the third deck. I've got mine into four because I prefer to have this LC6000 over this side and the fourth channel is here. So this LC6000 controller is actually typically powered by the USB cable, uh, but it does come with a little power cable which Denon have advised to use when you're using it in the standalone mode. But to tell you the truth, I used it without the power cable at first and the Prime 4 was enough to power it. Still, it's probably best to follow Denon's advice and have this LC6000 plugged into power when you're using it like this. So as soon as this is all connected up, turn on the Prime 4 and the LC6000 and it realizes straight away that it's connected. So as I said before, this is connected into my uh, channel number four. And as you can see, it is talking to the Prime 4 uh, with all of the functions on the controller itself. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of that all over again. You can check the other video for all of the stuff that this LC6000 can do, but I am going to show you a little example of how you can maximize using one of these LC6000s with your Prime 4. So I'm gonna be using this as a, as a third deck on the fourth channel. Um, obviously, if you have two of these LC6000s, you can go full four decks across the Prime 4 in complete standalone mode. And when I say standalone mode, I mean you don't even need a USB on the Prime 4, you can be doing this on one of the streaming services just with this connected to your Wi-Fi. So how about a little Ratsy mashup to get those creative juices flowing? So first of all, let's load the tracks. So track number one into channel number one. Track number two. I want that in track number two. And this is where now I'm gonna have an acapella on the LC6000. So boom, it's loaded into channel four, which is the channel that I've got the LC6000 USB into. So it's worth saying at this point, actually, another feature of the Engine DJ 2.1 update is you've got two different ways to view the waveforms uh, in four deck mode. So this is on vertical mode here. I actually prefer it in horizontal mode, to be fair. So to get there, you hold shift and press the view button. And there we go. We've got all three of these uh, decks that I've got going on here in horizontal mode. 
So I'm gonna start by dropping channel number one here, then I'm gonna drop channel number two here, and then I'm gonna drop the acapella on channel number four here. So let's have a little mashup, shall we? So there you have it then, that is one of the many ways that you can maximize using one of these LC6000s on the Prime 4 in standalone mode. Thanks very much to the Engine DJ 2.1 update. Now not forgetting if you don't have a Prime 4, this LC6000 is an official accessory to Serato, Virtual DJ and Algorithms DJ. So if you've got any um, controllers with an extra channel, uh, which you're using with one of those DJ softwares, it's an absolute no-brainer to grab one of these LC6000s to use it with. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, gang. Please send this video to anyone who you think it would help. Also, remember to like the video and subscribe to the DJ Kit YouTube channel. Also, let me know in the comments what you think of this LC6000 and what different situations you would like to use it in. Drop in any questions and I will always try and get back to you when I can. Until next time, peeps, you take care out there. Peace.